Hi everyone. Um, this is my week 22 pregnancy video log. Um, I can hear Wyatt singing out there <laughs> right now, so you can probably hear it too. Um, so week 22, um, the last time we talked was my 20 week anatomy scan and everything came back great. Um, I was supposed to have my follow-up appointment this week, but we pushed it because um, there weren't any really big tests to do at this point, and it was more of like a check-in with the doctor and, um, you know, kind of one of those things where they like do your pee test and check your blood pressure. And, and so um, my husband, Eric, made a really good point, and he was like, is there a reason why you need to go in right now? I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic, like if we're just checking blood pressure and, you know, and if it's just kind of like a follow-up, what, why are we doing this? There's nothing major to go in for and, and be at risk. And so, um, I called my doctor and I was like, do I need to come in right now? <laughs> and, uh, and he was like, we can just talk on the phone. And so, we had a conversation. He asked me how everything was going and if I felt good about everything. And we talked about the 20 week scan and, um, how, you know, she's been doing great. And I was like, you know, I think I, I'm feeling so good right now just because I can feel her kicking. And so I kind of check in with that every day. And if I feel like I haven't felt her in a while, I'll kind of like lay down and be like, okay, baby, let's, let's kick. And, um, and so you know, um, everything's been, been going pretty good. Um, I had recently seen that somebody, um, you know, asked me to talk about going to these appointments by myself. Um, I had to do, I've actually had to do pretty much all of my, um, kind of bigger appointments alone. Um, because, you know, you can't bring a partner and you can't bring your kids with you right now. Um, so they call you the day before and they're like, okay, make sure you wear a mask, have gloves. Um, you know, nobody can come with you to the office and uh, definitely can't bring any children. And so, you know, it's, it's weird. And I completely agree with it. I mean, totally understand, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's, um, it is different not having your partner there with you. Um, or for me, like, you know, I was very much used to bringing Wyatt along with me to all of Esme's appointments so that he could kind of connect with her. And I think I talked a lot about how, um, I think that really helped him with his journey of becoming a big brother was that he saw so many of her ultrasounds and he established this relationship with my doctor and and he just felt very much a part of this journey and so by the time she was here he was like I think he already felt like he knew her you know he'd he'd been on this um this uh sort of path with her of um watching her grow in my belly so you know it's it is um strange going there alone of course my phone rang so that got cut off <laughs> um so I'm blending these together anyway so um yes it is strange going there alone um but it's just a different challenge and now I'm um just talking to my kids about the baby um you know in a different way instead of bringing them along with me to my appointments or having Eric with me at my appointments I do videos at the appointments um and then also every Sunday morning my kids um want to check the app to see how big is baby and um you know we make jokes like oh she's the size she or he or whatever but the the baby is the size of um you know, a banana or a pomegranate or whatever it is. So, um, you know, I think that's another way where you can really keep them included and make them feel a part of it, um, is, is like that. So, um, so for now until 
I don't know when, maybe all the way through, um, I'll be doing these appointments by myself and, um, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know what it's going to be like, you know, towards the end of summer and what that's going to look like at our, our, our hospital. And I think that's a question I'm going to have at my next appointment with my doctor is that I'm really curious, you know, what's, what's, what are the different plans? Like if your partner can't be with you when you give birth, um, when can they be with you? And if I get sick, what happens? Is the baby separated from me? Um, you know, it's not stuff that I want to stress out about. Um, but I would be lying if I said that it's not on my mind. You know, um, I'm seeing, the, you know, this is the um, time in which you know, we've just announced our, our pregnancy and I have people writing me saying like, are you scared and are you concerned? And, um, and the answer is there has been some fear around all of this. Um, I think I'm definitely actively more thoughtful and careful about just not leaving. I don't go to the store or anything just because of being pregnant and wanting to protect the baby and my family and myself and um, just really, you know, what's your long-term goal and your short-term goal? And my long-term goal is that, um, that I'm, you know, being careful and protected and that I don't get sick and that there's not some sort of emergency situation. So, um, so all that being said, um, I think at the same time that I am being honest about how I've been thinking about it, I'm also been thinking that about it in a way that I'm not worrying about it. I'm not feeling stressed, um, because, you know, I do have a little bit more time and then also, it's out of my control, you know? I can't I, I can't control something that's happening in the future. And um, really the best thing that I can do, like with anything else is make informed decisions um, based on communication. So what's gonna make me feel better is having a relationship with my doctor where I ask him a whole bunch of questions, which I will relay to you <laughs> after um, I do that. I want to ask him what it is that, um, you know, what our plan will be. And also if he would be willing to, um, come and deliver my baby in the bathtub if I accidentally go into labor here and the baby starts coming out. <laughs> Just kidding. He would never go for that. Um, <laughs> but the thought has crossed my mind in the middle of the night. Um, so anyway, I have been feeling really good. My next real um, test would be the glucose test, and that's gonna happen around uh, 25, usually you do it like 25 to 28 weeks um, pregnant. So I think that's when I'm gonna have my next appointment is around 25 weeks and um, do the glucose test and uh, you know see how that goes. I'll report back right away. I think you get results back within a few days. And, um, yeah, and all in all, everything else is good. I mean, I'll show off my baby bump. <laughs> um, if I can get up. Ugh. So, pretty good size here. I mean, I've probably gained around 20, I don't know, pounds at this point, maybe. Um, I'll find out very soon in my next appointment. Um, and then what are our plans for the summer? Um, I was going to talk a little bit about that, but we're actually talking about um, driving to, uh, to Idaho and spending some time in Idaho. And we won't be able to stop along the way. Um, so we'll just have to kind of figure out and get creative so that we're not stopping places and we'll bring our own food and maybe a kid's potty or I don't know. We'll 
we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll let you know. Um, so we're going to try doing that adventure just, um, just so that we can, uh, you know, spend some time in the mountains as a family. And, um, yeah, I'll come back to you at, uh, probably around 25 weeks pregnant so that we can, um, have a talk after I see my doctor again. And, uh, currently, I would say currently I'm craving, um, lots of spicy food and then a little bit of sweets too. So, um, okay, that's it. See you soon.